so yeah let's talk about this thing <laughs> hi misha here and tonight let's look at the betty from alien resurrection and i have to say i had no idea what this model looked like before getting it in and it's one that got stuck in transit for quite a while, a couple of weeks. And just for size comparison, I brought out the Narcissus shuttle. And the good old Nostromo. And I brought these out because they are from the early 22nd century. Just like the Betty here. Even though Alien Resurrection takes place in 2379, this is an old ass ship, 200 years, give or take. So it seems to fit in better with the Alien ships. This is a V10. C Mantis resupply ship freighter and in its heyday it was probably a military or related to military vessel with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities with these giant engines able to resupply planets, space stations, whatnot. Which makes a lot of sense. It has a crew of between four and six, at least standard. So enough to operate a small resupply ship. And a cargo capacity of about 350 cubic meters. It's not big, it's not small, it's kind of right in the middle. It's about 144 feet long and about 245 feet wide although a lot of that has to do with these engine pods so gotta be fair and it's 65 66 feet tall but again it depends on the orientation of the engines and there's basically a large cargo module with a small crew compartment <laughs> below it. You can tell much like a military craft, this was never built to be pretty. Speaking of, in the Alien universe, this ship was designed and assembled by Hawker Sidley Group. Which it would be nice to think they still existed, which they really don't today. <laughs> but really the reason they picked that, it's a tribute to the uh, Harrier jump jet. Like I said, this is kind of a, a VTOL ship. It is FTL capable. It does have hypersleep chambers. And it... Um, it's really old and clunky. <laughs> um, in the real world, the model was a kit bash. It wasn't an all-new design. In fact, it used the fuselage from an A-10 Warthog and just industrial components from other things. And they took inspiration from, you know, the Nostromo and the Narcissus, which were decidedly very industrial in their styling but the Nostromo here from the original Alien is a much larger tug and the Narcissus is a uh, quite a bit smaller short medium range shuttle and these are all part of the Eagle Moss Official Alien Predator Collection. 
And this will probably be about as new as I go. I am not really into the Alien vs. Predators, and I'm not really into the Prometheus. But I did see Alien Resurrection in the theaters in 1997. And I had, okay. Was it anywhere as good as the first one or the second one? No way in hell. But, did I enjoy it then? And do I enjoy it now more than the third one? You better believe it. Uh, well, it doesn't... I mean, number three... Has an ambiance, has an atmosphere that I think Resurrection maybe was missing. But number three is so despicable. And so hopeless. Even for Alien. It, it takes a thing to take Alien 1 and Alien 2 and make them look optimistic. But they were. Alien 3. There's just no hope. And none of the characters are good. And it fucking killed. Hicks. And Newt. And effectively obliterated Bishop. Three of my favorite characters of all time. It had even killed Ripley. I mean, good God. Alien Resurrection, while pretty silly, was relatively self-aware. I mean, it was Josh Whedon, so, yeah. It had some fun moments. It had some serious moments. It had some actual character moments. And at least some of the characters were reasonably likable. And it had some jokes. And not everyone died at the end. It's just a more enjoyable film. But again, should the Alien franchise have ended with Aliens? Yes. Yes, it should have. But if it was going to go on... Oops, sorry, I got a little foam. I'd rather have it end with, insur with Insurrection, with uh, Resurrection, than Alien 3. Ugh, I just don't... Ugh. At least this was a fun, enjoyable film to go to the theater with friends. But you can tell, not as much thought was put into the models. I mean, when... When the Nostrum over here was created, they, they I mean, it was, um, it was an internal set. I mean, Ridley Scott had it all mapped out. Even the Salaka was well thought out by Cameron. This was just kind of put together for fun and to look like a junker. Well, they succeeded. It was definitely a junker. In fact, it was a stolen ship. But it was so old, no one cared. It was just an old military freighter that cost more to operate than it was really worth. So no one really cared when it was stolen. <laughs> but it is a unique design. I'll give them that. And it does fit the alien universe just fine and I thought kind of being bored not much else going on yeah why not pick up the model could be neat and it is it's really one of the biggest we've seen in the collection and it's very heavy well, the usual bits, like the fins and stuff, are plastic, as you'd expect. The entire center is solid metal. So it has very good weight to it. <laughs> so what do you think? Alien 3 or Alien... Resurrection, which is the least horrible. Now, you can debate Alien versus Aliens, is, which is one of the best films of all time. I think they're both equally good, just in different ways, but... Yeah, I definitely think this is a better film. Because it doesn't make you want to kill yourself after watching it. So with that, I thought I would just uh, show you the model here. 
There's not really much info to say about this ship. It's an old VTOL resupply ship. Anyway, if you like alien stuff and you haven't, I've covered the Nostromo and the Narcissus, as well as the ships from Aliens and other videos, so you might want to check those out, maybe. As always, if you could, like, share, and subscribe. This is Misha, and I'll catch you very soon next time.